Hey guys, in this video, I am going to demo the HTC Sense 6 port from HTC One M8 for the Google Nexus 5. This ROM has been ported by XDA recognized contributor Galaxy user. It's still in alpha stage, there are lots of issues, but let's just check out the ROM. You can see the standard HTC Sense lock screen. You can drag these icons to open those apps directly or you can pull the lock icon to unlock. Let's have a look at the software version first. Settings. You can see Nexus 5. It says HTC One M8 but it's actually the Nexus 5. Software information HTC Sense 6.0, Android 4.2.2. You can see some other details here. This ROM is an exact port from the HTC One M8, so it has all the native HTC applications mail, calendar, HTC TV, Zoe, then there are the HTC camera, music apps, FM radio. Not all features will work on the Nexus 5 even after the ROM is stable. For example, there is no IR blaster so the TV function won't work. There is no FM radio so the FM radio won't work either. Let's take a look at some stock apps. Here is the phone dialer. The messaging application. Here you can see the HTC Sense keyboard. Here is the web browser. Wi Fi works fine. Let's try out some website. You can see the web browser is fully functional. It's quite smooth. There are no dropped frames, scrolling lags, rendering issues. You can see it's buttery smooth. So back to home. Then there is the camera application which does not work. There are quite a few bugs in this ROM. For example, the sound does not work. The camera does not work, Wi-Fi hotspot doesn't work, notification LED doesn't work, NFC doesn't work and believe it or not hardware acceleration doesn't work. But still you can see that the ROM is perfectly smooth. Let's check out some other apps, for example the calendar. You can see the status bar goes blue. It happens only in the HTC applications for example. Let's try. Try the gallery for example. Oops. You can see it becomes red. You can zoom into the notification area is pretty much like stock Android with a few minor modifications. For example, there are these small buttons which take you directly to the full settings. There is also extreme power saving mode. What this does is it disables many of the applications, it restricts your background data and enables only a few core apps. It also disables the animations. This is for situations when you have very low power left. Oops. There is also the normal power saving mode. There is a do not disturb mode. Here you can see the recent panel in HTC Sense style. You can see it's just bloody smooth. There is no lag whatsoever. This ROM is rooted out of the box. Here are some other apps. Let's try out the flashlight. I don't think it will work. No, it doesn't work. Flashlight apps usually use the camera interface, so unless the camera works, there is no way these apps will work. There are some voice recorder application, 
and there is actually flash player installed I don't know why here is the ICC music application you can see all my songs here but sound doesn't work so trying to play any song will say unable to play this song here is the volume panel you can see sound doesn't work but you can still see the panel and you can edit the icons you can add more say I want to add the user card so, ok I got to remove something first We're done and you can see the user card here there is a kid mode which will lock applications which you don't want your kid to access you can see a bit of the camera UI but the camera itself doesn't open when you open the camera you can see the UI and that it says unable to start the camera you can see the launcher you can sort it alphabetically or custom and you can change the grid size 3x4 or 4x5 let's have a look at the applications menu yeah, here it is so you can see 500 MB RAM is currently used out of 1.88 GB so not much used RAM the menu actually shows uh, on SD card <laughs> but the Nexus 5 doesn't even have a SD card so that option here here you can see the boom sound option which is not available for the Nexus 5 you can see motion launch gestures these are not working Oops. you can see nothing happens There are some productivity apps also like the HTC Tasks app, Google Drive, Internet Browser. Here is the HTC Clock application with a nice preview of the places you have selected in your world clock. You can close all apps directly from here. Let's say everything has been cleaned. Let's have a look at the settings menu, what options we have. Here you can see mobile network sharing which doesn't work as of now. Data usage mobile by minutes messages and you can actually limit the number of SMS you can send. Personalize home screen, link feed for example. I believe you can change the color somewhere. Theme here. Let's try out some other theme. Okay, this looks good. You can see it became orange now. And the lock screen also. There are some other options like get content from another phone. check out the storage you can see the full 32 GB storage is shown here so there is no issue with the storage here is the power saver mode you can see the brightness gets reduced a bit as soon as I turn on it there is also a fast boot mode which doesn't work because it's kernel dependent
let's try loading some apps very fast and see how the phone responds From here you can clearly see that the ROM is blazing fast, there are no issues with speed. Let's reboot the phone so that you can see the boot animation. Start. You can see the shutdown animation too, it just says the HTC. can see the HTC One logo I will leave the link to the ROM and the patches in the description below this is it for today thank you for watching if you like my video subscribe to my channel Thank you. Goodbye.